Hello everybody, my name is Mohamed Ayesh. I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I have a channel uh, called Ayesh in Germany on YouTube and I have been living in Germany since 2015 for six years now. I have started my channel in January 2021 and I did a lot of videos uh, concerning information about studying in Germany, working in Germany, working after studying in Germany and also uh, about life in Germany, motivational videos, culture and entertainment videos and also vlogs about German cities and European cities. It was in my native language, I'm from Egypt uh, and I got a very good feedback from the people saying that my videos are clear, precise and easy to understand so that's why I decided to start to do my videos in English as well in addition to my native language because uh, I would like to spread the videos so everyone can really uh, benefit from it uh, that's why this is my first video in English and I still do a lot of videos in English. So, as I told you, my channel will be always about information and about uh, cultural uh, videos, entertainment, vlogs, motivational videos. So, let's go from now and I would like you, uh, if you like my video, share it and subscribe to my channel Ayash in Germany so you can always, and you can activate also the bell so you can always uh, get informed about the new videos. So first we can go directly to the topic of today's video is why should you immigrate to Germany or why should you move to Germany and how, how can you do that? So beginning at that you have to think about why should you immigrate to any country? Think about this question first and then you have to answer this question by considering two main factors. Two main factors. The first factor is, is this country really open to immigration? So if you speak about Germany, yes, they are open to immigration and they actually are doing a lot of easing or make the rules more easy so that people can come and this started actually in 2014 and they're still on the process of making it even easier and easier so this is the first factor you have to think about the second factor is subdivided into three main uh, categories the first one is you have to think and consider about the healthcare system second one is educational system and the third is the standard of living so if you speak about the first one which is the healthcare system so Germany has one of the best healthcare system in in Europe or even in over the world. So uh, they have two parts, two types, public and private. And even when we say public and private, both of them are a very good quality. So usually when you say private, private is much better than private. This is not the case here. Public is as good as private. Only private give you some benefits addition to the public. So we speak most of the people here are on the public, which is completely good and very good and actually it cover everything, even the dentist. Uh, as well, uh, it's so easy, uh, you will never even feel about paying because if you are working here in Germany to be subtracted from your gross salary and then you know already your net salary, you have already paid for the, for the health insurance and even the pretty thing about it is that you only pay half and the employer pays half so it's only 7.5% that is subtracted from your gross salary. So you don't even feel about it. And also if you are a student, there are a lot of packages and reductions for students if you are below 30 or even if you are above 30 years old. So this is the first factor. The second factor would be educational system. In Germany, it's free to study in schools, in university, in the bachelor level, in the master's level, and even in the PhD level, which is, this is unique for Germany from all over the world. And this is something very good actually. You only need to pay something called semester contribution and this semester contribution only pay like 200 euros per semester in six months or 300 euros in six months. And this actually includes your transportation. So when you pay that, you can get access to free transportation in your state. And if you convert it with like, if you'd like to do this ticket, like monthly ticket, you pay an enormous amount of money. And here you pay only something, it's like, not mentioned even, like very few amount of money just to uh, have a, an unlimited access to the transportation in the whole state. So even the semester contribution you pay, you get benefit out of it. Third thing is standard of living. Standard of living in Germany is really high. And when I say that, I mean that the gap between the, the salaries between persons are not really far. And in other words, uh, basically you can really, uh, with your salary, live a very good standard of living. Uh, of course, if you have a university degree, it's higher than from people who doesn't have university degrees, but even people with Ausbildung, which is a German word for vocational training, they can also live good. But if you have a university degree, your salary can guarantee you a good, very good standard of living. 
Okay, this is the first part with why should you migrate to Germany? And now how can you really do that? So to do that, actually, you need to think about, I mean, you need to understand that Germany doesn't have a point system like in England, like in America, Canada, or Australia, they don't have a point system. So in order to immigrate or to move to Germany, you either uh, go for the job seeking visa where you apply, where you would like to come to Germany, stay for six months and look for a job. During the six months, you have to pay for your living costs and look for a job. Or if you already got a job in, when you are in your own country, you can apply directly for a resident permit for a visa to come to work or the blue card to come to work. Or if you are like a pharmacist, doctor, nurse, these professions that are governed by a regulatory body, then you need to do an equalization process. But I will tell you that the winning card, the winning card for you to have a successful immigration moving to Germany is to study, to study in Germany. And I'll explain why. So studying in Germany is very good because first of all, you have a degree from Germany and put yourself in the front of the employer, in the place of the employer. The employer will be satisfied to hire someone that he is familiar with, that you are here in the country, you are customized and you are integrated, you have a degree from the, from the country, so it make your life easier for hunting job afterwards. Also, when you finish your study, like a bachelor, master's, PhD or whatever, you have 18 months visa to look for work. And what, what is very beautiful about it is that during these 18 months, you can work anything to support yourself. So if you compare it for the job seeking visa for the people that didn't study in Germany, you have only six months, you cannot work during these six months here if you study in Germany. Afterward, you have 18 months to look for a job and you can work during these 18 months. Of course, at the beginning, you have to prove that you can support yourself, but later on, you can work and you can save the money until you look for your job in your field. I mean, like to work anything until you look for a job that it's equivalent to your uh, study and then you can continue. Uh, and actually afterwards, if you find the job, which is equivalent to your degree, then you can go for the resident permit for work and you work and you start working. And then after a certain period, you can even, go, you can even get the permanent resident in Germany. Uh, also studying, you can even now can come in Germany to study in English, especially the master's and the PhD courses. There are a lot of master's and PhD courses in English, which means you can come and you don't need to know a lot of German, you can study in English. And during that, when you are doing your master's, you can improve and learn the German language because German language is very important for the work phase. When you start to work, you need German, unless you are in certain professions like like certain professions doesn't need in a German, but most of the professions need German. So even if you can come here and study in English, you can really uh, improve your German during the study so you can be ready when you would like to start working. Or if you would like to study bachelor, most of the bachelor unfortunately are still in German, but it's not a big problem because you can work on your German, but you need to reach like B2 level or C1 level in the German language so you can study in the bachelor. And then of course afterwards you, are, you know German so you can work easily. So that's why I stress and I always say studying is the winning card to immigrate or for successful immigration or successful successful moving to Germany. Uh, so this was my video today. I explained why to immigrate to Germany and I explained how can you do that and now you go to the next step. How could you start? How should you start? You are staying at your home in your own country. How should you start? What is the first steps to achieve your goal and immigrate or move to Germany? So in the next videos, I'll speak about how to, to look for, a, uh, uh, to look for a, a course, a study course, how to look for it, how to prepare your document, how to submit it, and then about uh, the study languages or what is the language of study, how, like a specific video on the language of studies in certain courses here, and also about the living cost. Could you cover the living cost from working a side job beside your study? and a lot, a lot of interesting video. And as I mentioned before, also I will include a lot of motivational and a lot of cultural and entertainment videos and flows about cities. So it's not only information videos, it will be a lot also of fun videos as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you can benefit out of it. And I am really optimistic about this video and about the English videos. And I hope to see you next time. So stay tuned and I hope to see you next time in my next video on my channel, Ayash in Germany. See you next time. Bye-bye.